Welcome to Richard's Auto Repair. Today we're diagnosing a heating and, and cooling problem of a 2001 Dodge Durango with a 4.7. This is your blower motor switch. If this only works on the top speed and it doesn't work on 3, 2, or 1, then you have what's called a blower resistor problem and you need to replace that. But since it works on all, all speeds, that's fine. This is your rear control. This is your blower motor for your your second and and third row seatings. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Here, try to put it back there so they can hear it. The blower motor obviously works, and this is your zone control. These are your max selections. Max air in the front, max air in the front and the feet, only the feet, oh I'm sorry, only the face, face and feet, feet only, feet and defrost, and defrost, all the way, only defrost. So with the blower motor on the top speed, we can turn on the AC. We're going to turn it to the front, and we're going to test the AC. Now there's two actuators up front for the heating different zones in the front. There's one zone, one actuator for the driver's side heating, and there's another actuator for your passenger side. How it says drivers and passenger. They're different zone controls. And that's the blend door. And your blend door, if you come around here, door actuators you can see one of them right there you pull this out of the way this, this duct there, there you can see it right there and that's your two actuators one's right there and I think the the bottom one is the the passenger and the upper one is your your driver actuator and that's for the blend door that closes the door to the outside so you can get cold air. Here. And now we're gonna we're gonna go to the, the rear. The AC works in the in the front, so we're good here. Now we're gonna go into the rear. Why don't you open the back hatch? It'd be easiest. This is your your zone selection for the rear. right there right there quick and that's the switch there's a selection that says rear control you can control it from the front or you can have it put on rear control where you can control it by this switch here and this is your blower motor switch obviously works and this is your AC and this is your heater control switch and I can feel I can feel cool air out of here so we're good going to do to to change the selection between the, the face and the feet and the rear we're going to change it on the zone selection in the front maybe go in the back here and we're going to change we have to change this in the front by the front dial so we're going to change that to let's say we know the, the front works or the, the face let's turn it to the feet here under the seat right here that's not the best place for it but that's where Chrysler put it and if we go back here in the hatch your your feet is located right here this is your your rear feet your third row seating There's two actuators in the back. There's a heater core and an evaporator in the rear. For your rear heating and cooling under this panel. And that's what everything works. If you come up under here, you 
Pizzeria. Without breathing in too much exhaust. There's your heater core lines here, and here's your your high and your and your low line. And I can feel the low line is cold, so it's getting to a. But my diagnosis after reading the gauges is that he has a a low charge situation. I noticed the front low, the first and low is uh, low. I mean, the, the fan is really low. Like, it's not working. When you get up to third and fourth volume or uh, speed, it works. And the blower motor? Yeah. Like, the back works better than the front. Yeah, it could be going out. Yeah. But, I mean, you could, without it being a, a bearing problem or testing it electrically, you just got to wait till it fails or, or replace it. Sometimes it's best to just wait until you actually have a problem that you can see rather than spending hundreds of dollars trying to locate a problem that you don't know exists or a ghost in the system. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it. <sighs> um, let's talk about the, the AC system. Before I get going. This is your air. This is your air conditioning compressor. This is your serpentine belt, your pulley, your clutch up front. When you turn on the switch, this pulls this in magnetically. Uh, let's see. This right here is your your high pressure pressure switch, and over here is your low pressure pressure switch. That's your condenser. The high side. Your evaporator is directly in the, the passenger under the dash. There is your front expansion valve. You're gonna have one behind the rear quarter panel of the hatch. You have to dig that out, that's in there pretty deep. But that's all there. Here's your, your liquid line con container. It's in case you, you get some liquid refrigerant, you don't wanna blow up your your compressor or anything so that's today's look at a spark plug and the heating and cooling system of a Dodge Durango 2001 4.7 thanks for watching everybody